Hey guys, this is Brian from Professional Baseball Instruction. Today's drill, we're going to work on our lower half driving through to create more bat speed, which will in turn create more power. One of the biggest problems that we see here with students that come into PBI is a lot of them know that their lower half helps to generate bat speed, but a lot of them don't know how that happens. A lot of people just think as you come through here, if you spin and finish high on your backside, that automatically you're going to create more power. That's just not right. We, you can do what we call just sit and spin, where you're just here and spinning, but not really generate any more power. The way we generate power in baseball is we create torque through our lower half, which in turn drives our hands through the contact zone. <coughs> the way we define torque in baseball is by sep the separation of our back knee from our hands. What you'll see in just about every single major league hitter is when they get to their stride separated position, the first thing that initiates their swing is going to be their lower half. They're going to start with this back heel, start with this back knee, and then their hands are still going to be in this good hitting position. What this is doing is it's creating energy back here, which as it goes through, will pull your hands through the contact point. What we see a lot of hitters doing is they're going to, they initiate their swing. They come here, bottom half stays down, they initiate with their upper half, start with their shoulders, swing, and then the lower half whips around to catch up. This really isn't creating power with your lower half. It looks like it is, but the sequence of the swing is up. So the drill we're going to work on today, I just call it a rhythm drill. <coughs> you're going to start here. Bat on your shoulder, feet square. You're going to lift up your front heel, back heel is down. All you're going to do after that is switch it. Okay, and then you're going to get a good rhythm going here. Now as you do this, you'll notice that my back knee is the one that's really pulling forward. Okay, the sequence of our swing, if we're just hitting, standing here trying to do a regular swing, when my front heel lands, my back heel and back knee should start my swing. Okay, so all we're going to do here, front heel up, switch it. Good rhythm, good rhythm. We're here, separate, front heel's down, back knee starts, hands stay back to my good hitting position. So if we want to do this drill, we're here, good rhythm, good rhythm. Load, swing. Now as I finish, I should finish balance with my backside perfectly through. Again, bat on your shoulder, front heel up, switch them. Get a good rhythm as we're here, down, through. Okay, one thing you'll feel is this backside should come through easily and what it also will do is this back hip will start to knock out the front hip, which will clear your back path to contact. Right. Do this drill as much as you can. As the more that you can get on sequence, the more fluid your swing is going to be and the more you're going to start using your lower half to generate bat speed. Thanks.